So let's say you want to add a stacked bar chart to a Salesforce report. That's going to require that your report format be a matrix report. Now I've got a summary report displayed here that's grouped by row and that would be grouped by account owner. And I've got a chart added previously and this is just a donut chart here. And if you click the gear icon for chart properties, you see that the stack bar and stack column charts are not available because we need not only a grouping by row, but also a grouping by column in our report in order to be able to do stack bar charts and stacked column charts on a report. So that calls for creating a matrix report. I'm going to edit this existing report, which is a summary report group by account owner and click edit and then add a column grouping as well. Now you'll have a group columns filled here in your report builder once you have a row grouped. I have a row grouping by account owner and so therefore I've got my group columns option as well. So for my column grouping, I want to group my accounts by country. I'm gonna select billing country and then I'll go ahead and save as so that I don't have a matrix report called summary report, but I wanna do a save as and use this as a template to then call this a matrix report. And so I've renamed this matrix report accounts owner and country, and I've selected public reports folder so that this is viewable by other users clicking save, and then I'll click run so we can see this from the end user experience instead of inside the report builder. And here's our matrix report. So now we have our row grouping for our account owners. And then remember our column grouping is by country. And so you see now a breakdown of the different countries that the accounts that Bruce Kennedy owns, four in Australia, six in Brazil, Chris Riley, Dennis Howard, et cetera, et cetera. And now we can click our gear icon for the chart properties and you'll see now that there's stacked bar and stacked column options. There wasn't when it was a summary report. It has to be a matrix report in order to have the stacked bar chart. So now we can see the record counts and the different color codings. You can hover over any of these and get more details as well. So that stacked bar here is stacked column. It takes a moment to refresh. And so I'm gonna go ahead and save this. And you see that I own most of the accounts here. I imported a Fortune 500 CSV file, so I own 510 accounts. So I'm leading the pack, but there are other users that have a fair number of accounts that they own as well. So that is how to create a matrix report, as well as adding a stacked bar or stacked column chart to a matrix report. So if you found this video helpful, be sure and like it, subscribe, comment, hit the bell, etc., etc., and be sure and check out some of my other videos for Salesforce tips to make you a power user on the Salesforce platform.